Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Coach Channel. Hmm. Let's do our love. Okay. What we'll do now until September 10th, like right around there. Okay. Um. Let's do. Look in the middle of the couch, so it sucks. Um. Let's do. Let's do Aries. Okay. Um. I'm doing it a little differently this week. Kind of like channeled messages and working with the cards and all that stuff. Okay. Um. I'm using cards that don't have photos on it anyway, illustration, unless it's an Akana. Okay, so I'll show you. I'll show you when I get them. Okay. Ooh, what's up with my Aries? The deck don't even want to shuffle, shuffle properly. Oh. Just messed that. Apparently, I did link my phone to my laptop. I actually did. Mm hmm. What are you guys playing it safe? With the music, playing it safe? Goose! Goose, goose, out of the bathroom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, alrighty, Schneidies. What are we looking at for Aries? My little Ramskis. Alright, that's going to take long. But it's completely sideways. It's a six of swords. So, to me, it's like. I'm going to be very intuitively, okay? Um, and to me, right off the bat, I feel like you're battling it out with somebody, but you're on an even playing ground, okay? The two of you are just as crazy. The two of you are just as nuts, okay? <clears throat> it's like you can't, no one wins. It's kind of like a lose-lose, you know? So we're just kind of taking up a tiny break. All right, um, because the two of you battle when you battle. It's like, uh, like you met your match, you know? All right, so you pulled strength, so it's kind of like moving forward, all right, getting yourself out of that energy, um, of the sword. So, like I said, you know, I always say when the strength is here, the devil was lurking, okay? So, you know, it's, it's hanging there. All right, and then we got the fool. So, but you're tired. Um, some of you are stressed out, sick. Um, whoever you're up against right now, obviously, I feel has some codependency, some kind of addiction. Minor, could be major. I'm feeling minor. Um, but you're just trying to decide how how you're gonna go about this, okay? Um, with the nine of swords, you got to reverse. So, <laughs> to me, right now, you're like one step ahead of this person. Um, but remember, that's being all up in your head, okay? That's that's all up in your head. So, we have the High Priestess with the Ace of Swords reversed. <laughs> so, somebody's lying. There's no question there's some tricky shit. Someone's lying, okay? Um, but like I said, I really feel like you're one step ahead of this person. So, I think you already know that. And you're just kind of like, okay, like... And just waiting for him or her to make their move, you know what I mean? Um, but it's like you're waiting on this new start. Tell me about the fool. Or you're waiting for something to start. Man, your cards are coming out sideways, like perfectly sideways. Um, it's the Five of Cups. So you're upset that you didn't have this new start and... You really wanted it where you thought you were going to get it. Um, and right now, you don't, okay? Here's the thing with this, though. Um, i got to pause you a second. My hair is dripping. All right, sorry. You're like, you're upset, okay? But it's more... 
that there wasn't an offer made, okay, more than like heartbroken, you know, things like that. Like we're thinking about it, but we're not dwelling, okay. Um, I kind of feel like you're being mischievous just as much as this person for some, okay. Not not all of you guys, but um, some of you for sure, all right. I definitely playing the whole cat and mouse game. Um, and some of you are just really bent out of shape of what went down. Oh, what is this? The Eight of Pens reversed. All right. So, yeah, there's no collaboration. There's no working together. There's there's no new stat, okay? I just don't know why I feel like I definitely feel you're one step ahead of this person or vice versa. There's definitely some tricky shit. You're definitely being lied to or you're definitely lying to somebody. You're definitely using your intuition on this one. Um, so, but here's the deal. We contemplating because with the Six of Swords, we got the lovers reversed. So it's kind of like, it's the connection. It's not together, you know, but it's like, okay. The energy is still there. Um, Got the page of wands reversed, so it's like nobody's taken, nobody's taken action, but somebody's being patient. But I think because you know you have the upper hand here, so it's like, are you up to something? Are you being sneaky? I think it's the other person being sneaky. I feel you're patient, but I mean you're you're upset, but you're not. You're coming out of the dwelling, okay? You're coming out of the dwelling. Let's talk about strength. Um, wrinkle sticks. Whoever this person is, it's the world reversed. Whoever this person is, is definitely coming back around. Um, I don't know when, but eventually, um, definitely coming back around. Hold on. Hold on, buttercups. These cards. Ugh. Come on. <laughs> I'm falling over. I'm falling over and she can't get up. <laughs> All right. So, <sighs> that wasn't that funny, was it? So, <laughs> with the world reversed, your cards are all over the place right now. So, I kind of, yeah, you are all over the place. All right. Um, maybe like a little, I don't know, not really impatient. I feel like you definitely have patience, but it's like, you just know there's something hidden and it's frustrating. I get it. You know what I mean? This person's definitely coming back around. So it's kind of like have strength when this person dips back into your life. Okay. Because I think it's going to be temporary because in all reality, this person's lying, you know, the secret still. All right. Um, there's still secrets. Tell me about this world. This world reversed. I think with, I think you're dealing with a fixed sign. You got the star reversed. All right. So to me, it's like you don't have hope. But with this particular card, I don't see anybody else on the board. But considering the lovers came up, to me, it's a bond. But it does speak about making a decision when it comes to something okay i mean you, you could be there could be a leo in your life there could be a taurus in your life well i don't i feel like you're dealing with a fixed sign you could be dealing with an aquarian to me though it's possibly an outsider whether it's friends family another lover um Because to me, this particular star does not talk about having faith, unfortunately. It's just the way I read this deck, okay? But sitting on top of the world, it looks like we have an Aquarian and a Leo. Strong, okay? If we're going to break it down that way. In the world, a fixed sign would be a Scorpio, um, Leo... Aquarius, so 
before us. So, tell me about the spa. I kind of feel like a good chance there was a third party here. Um, I feel like you know the truth, though, or you're waiting for it to be exposed in the question. Um, judgment reverse, yeah. You d either don't want rec reconciliation, or this person doesn't want to reconcile, and <sighs> someone's playing with magic, too. I don't know why. And here's the deal. I've been saying that, okay? And it doesn't have to be, like, magic, magic. Like, universal shit is magic, okay? So affirmations is magic. You know, praying is magic. Um, things come together. It works. But to me, someone, chances are, is using, like, jewelry magic. Either, like, a um, crystal magic, you know what I mean? Jewelry magic. There's no question. All right? Very, um... Nothing to, like, worry about, like, minor, you know what I mean? Like, playing in the minor games, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even know if it will work. It doesn't look like it's going to. You know, it's, it's more of, like, I don't see any voodoo shit. You know, I haven't come across anything like that. Um, let's see what else I can get for you. But this judgment, this thought, this is somebody who doesn't want to reconcile. This is somebody who doesn't want to make a choice, okay, whether this is you or the other person. And you have the Nine of Cups reversed, the Page of Cups. So this is somebody, again, who just is not, and you got three people on this card, too, okay? Three owls. So I'm not feeling pregnancy, but I just looked at this and I was like, ooh. But no, I don't see it on my board, but I'm feeling it. So obviously some people are pregnant. Um... But waiting on an apology and you're not getting one. Someone, someone's, whoever this is that's lying is not having it right now. All right? Like, they want no part of this. So. I just don't know why the universe wants you to have strength. See, the moon reversed, all right? So the secret's coming out. So just have strength when you hear this. To me, this isn't like reconciling with anyone in these next two weeks. I'm sorry. I know you hate when you hear that, but I speak the truth, the whole truth, and, and the freaking nothing but the truth when it comes to this with, you know, raw loves and what I see on my board. And this is why the universe is asking you to have strength right now, okay? Because this person is lying. I think the truth is going to be exposed. I think there's definitely another person. I think somebody might even have a gambling issue, some type of addiction. Um, could even be a drinking or a pill addiction I have on my board here. Either or. Could be both. All right. But coming out of this, whatever this is, it's we're well, coming out of this. Tell me about this little section right here. Because the Nine of Swords is reversed, so coming out of it. But, like, I think this person still, you or this person still drinking heavily. Um... But coming out of it with the Nive of Pence, see, we got multiple energies on the board. Maybe this person is going to come in and talk about an apology, or this is having a new start with somebody. I don't know. This is definitely you're dealing with full moon energy for sure. And now we got three people in this one, too. Okay, so there's still somebody in the picture. So I don't know if this person's going to try to come back around and, and X, Y, Z, but and you get nowhere with this person, all right? But this person's going to come back around. And if it's not the person that's coming back around, it's the lie, it's the something being exposed. I'm not even looking at you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but you could be done with a Pisces too. Pisces, Gemini. I'm going to tell you what's strong. Pisces, Gemini, Leo, Aquarius. Um, we do have Taurus. We do have, what's the damn judgment? You could be dealing with any air sign too. Um, you have fire right here too. With the, you got three pages. You got, you got every element. But if I'm going to say you're with me, the fool sometimes can be an Aquarian too. Um, you got every element, but surrounding, surrounding these two cards, you got Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. What else is the damn fool? I can't think right now. Gemini, but I'm done with that. I know you guys like that here and there. I know some of you need it, but to me, I think you got strong Leo in your chat too. I mean, you're, I don't, you're not even up here in your own element right now. And we got the high priestess, too. 
What is, who's judgment? I can't remember. But I feel like this is more of a secret coming back around more than anything. Um, or is this lover coming back around? Or you're finally getting out of like the whole choppy water. Ah, 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 you get down from there right this second. Get down from there right this second. Don't, like, get Kessel down. Get down now. <gasps> Kessie down. Down. Thank you. Um... I feel like it's coming. He or she's coming back around. What is this? The King of Wands. I don't know. So this is you. You're in your element. So whatever this is, is coming back around. You're going back around to somebody else. Okay. But I this this still. I don't see nobody hashing anything out. And I still feel like there's definitely tricky shit. Something's gonna be exposed. I feel like somebody's got something on somebody. Somebody's definitely one step ahead of somebody. Um. And that's that. All right. So I'm gonna pull from another deck real quick, see if I get something else. Oh, actually, you know what? I just picked them all up. But let me let me find out about what this lie is real quick. I mean, I definitely, I mean, it could be a multitude of things, obviously. I don't know why this deck is so damn sticky. Oh, I just saw the Ace of Pent, so I don't know if this person's going to try to come in and lie about wanting to lose that. I, I feel like it's way more than that, though. Tell me what this lie is about, please. This lie. King of Swords. See, we didn't even have that one come out. Oh, yeah, we did. No, no, we didn't. But that's an Aquarian to me, King of Swords. That's Aquarian three times. Um, with Judgment Reverse. Yeah, see, somebody... But see the King of Swords, when you have a conversation with the King of Swords, that's just it. The King of Swords doesn't lie. He cuts straight to the point with the Eight of Cups. No, this is somebody who walked away from you that wants to come back. But... They, I don't think they want to come back. I think they're coming back more or less like it's all about them, the arrogant type thing. You know what I mean? Because they don't want reconciliation. They don't want to make this choice or you don't want to make this choice. But here's the thing, the King of Swords, I, I forgot about that. They like to have a conversation, a very logical, practical conversation, like straight to the point, no bullshit, like let's cut to the chase. You know, I don't want a reconciliation. I am walking away. It's all about me. You're dealing with somebody who's arrogant. And the five of swords at the bottom of the deck, it's like a lose-lose, all right? Like this person or you just don't want just don't want that. And right next to it is the eight of cups. But here's the thing. There's a cup in front of them. So it's all about, you know, going to find your, your own happy, your new happy. And the moon helped you get rid of this. The moon is also going to help you find self-love and, and start taking care of yourself and, and you and nobody else, okay? And you're dealing with somebody who's arrogant. There's no question. Especially with that at the bottom of the deck. And with the devil. Hello. Next to the Knight of Cups. Hello. Knight of Cups. Um, yeah. No. No. I'm not charming. Nothing. There's a third party. Yeah. I'm not. Okay. So don't trust this person if they come back around. And if this is you and you're watching for my Aries, don't trust this Aries when this Aries comes back around. Because there's still something shady going on in this scenario. Um... Let me see if I can pull something real quick with this deck. Mm -hmm. Tara, I just got a text message. I don't even think you're on Aries, though. Is Anthony? I don't know, but I'll post the I'll post the link after. Um, it's so funny because I didn't even put her name on there. I had to scroll all the way up. Because I was using this phone before I got myself a work phone. <laughs> Anywho, for those waiting on that lemonade ad, I'll do that after. Not a lemonade ad. Ad. Uh, link. Sorry. Oh, Florida 18 something. Woo wee, I'm spending some time with my Ramskis. I'm spending some time with my Ramskis. What are we looking at? So to me, this is just straight up shady. All right. Don't bother. There's, there's no apology like that. You know, we got the lovers upright. Um, but to me, it's like you're definitely feeling intertwined. To me, you might even be dealing with a scorp. We got the six of pens. Somebody wants to work together, but you're not, okay? Because we're, we're single. We're by ourselves. We're taking care of ourselves. We're worrying about ourselves. Um, you guys are definitely not together because with the King of Cups right here too, I'm going to clarify him, but he's just sitting there chilling too. He's, you know, his, his energy is not even balanced either. And it's like the two of you with the love is here, the sorrow, you know, tell me about this King of Cups, you know, somebody wants to balance out the scales here, but it's, it's not happening. All right. With the chariot and 
it's like, nah, with the lovers right here with the king of cups, there's two women in this picture. All right. Mm -mm. Sitting right here with the lovers. All right. There's either two women, two men. Three women, two men. All right. With the star reversed again. So to me, this is not, this deck is different to me though. This is, you know, tempering, you know, maybe in time because you're both tempering each other within the water, you know, trying to heal. But I mean, the King of Cups, he's a charmer. He doesn't heal. But it was reversed, so this particular group does not have the faith. But I'm saying, like, that's because somebody's got one up on someone right now. Like, this this is a scenario that's not worth, yeah, energy and time right now, unfortunately, because there's still somebody else. See, the Ten of Swords, yeah, you're coming out of this, like I said, because you were at the Nine, and now we're getting to our Ten. You, were, you felt stabbed, all right? Like, you're drowning, you know? Like, it's like you're frozen in time, too. It's kind of like, it's baffling to you because... I think you got some truth out of it, but you don't have the whole truth. And I think somebody's playing somebody clear as day. Like, I think you're either dealing with a water sign, a strong water sign, or a straight up Aquarian is what they're trying to tell me. Yeah. Yeah, water. That's strong right here. But you got a Cancerian over here. You got a Gemini. Yeah, you got yeah, water all day. That's it. That's all I got right here. All right, with the Ten of Pence, take care of yourself. You're reaching your tens, all right? This is when I was talking in a video the other day, like, be the beast, be the wolf. All right, you got the Three of Wands reversed here. You know, this still talks about, you know, a third party, your own destiny. You know, both of these women got tigers. They got cats with them. They're by themselves. They're on their own. You know, go start your own journey. This person does not deserve what it is that you have to that you can offer right now or vice versa i'm telling you it's just the reality of it so i'm very sorry about that but i think the moon energy definitely got rid of that for you um i don't even think they necessarily chose the other people i think this one particular person that has a couple options really wants to stick with both of them but to me i feel like the universe is kind of like walk away from this like this is not worth it you're about to get a new dose of information that's probably going to help you but probably cause some sorrow at the same time. You know, having the lovers and the devil and, and I, I know I know you got a strong bond, all right? For some, for some you got that bond. For others, it's still very toxic, okay? Um, I don't know if the number 22 means anybody to, anything to anybody, but I just saw it. I don't, it's just a 22. We got guilt. Somebody needs to release, you know, there, something because we got guilt. So I don't know if you feel like you did something wrong or only if I had noticed this, only if I had done that, don't do that. All right. Let, let the guilt go. Um, or this person has guilt, but yeah, whatever, you know, I don't, something's still shady within this next two weeks. So don't, don't be naive. Okay. And then balance, bring balance back into your life, harmony into your world. Do it without judgment too. All right. Don't do it without who, who, who gives a rat's ass about anything, all right, type thing? Like, it's all about you right now. And then death. I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. And this is what I'm talking about. That chica was on her own. All right, be the wolf, be the beast, move forward, male or female. And then trust, trust your inner voice. And with the high priestess, it came up. It only came up once. But to me, that was talking about secrets and lies and things that just have not been exposed yet that are coming out more or less than use your intuition on this one. But obviously, that's both, all right? Use your intuition. There's still secrets. There's still lies, all right? And just trust that you're going to be able to guide yourself out of this scenario, okay? You, you'll be able to get yourself out of this scenario, I promise you. And um, I didn't shuffle or anything yet, but I, I did call that with the denial at the bottom of the deck. Um, and it's funny because they kind of slid in the way I picked them up and then placed them down in the beginning of the read. All right. And then chaos and oath. So somebody broke the oath. Somebody's lying to you, whether it was a marriage or a long time commitment. Somebody's lying and you're dealing with chaos and the, it's not quite over yet. OK, the storm's just not over and the choices with chaos, you know. So let's see what we get from my little Ramskis. For the ones that, you know, are in this scenario and, you know, this is happening to you. I'm very sorry. And for the ones that are causing it, you know, calm as a bitch. All right. So we have understanding. And to me, this card is very tricky. So please listen to me. This is a symbol for deep and a true comprehension. OK, 
okay? This is one of those scenarios where you need to understand this is not the perfect time. This is not one of the scenarios where it's asking you to understand the scenario, okay? And give this person a second chance, all right? This is, you know, it's one thing to read something or hear something, but it's another thing to truly understand something. You're being asked to keep an open mind and a heart and allow yourself to absorb information as you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that can only come in time, patience, and perspective. Try to go outside yourself and imagine what it's like to walk in somebody else's shoes. To understand is to have the power. So it, it does talk about, you know, when the lies get exposed and stuff like this, it might be like one of those holy F shocking moments. I don't know. But this, this is not saying be with this person. This is saying, let me, let me clarify this. And I, I don't normally do that, but I have to. Um, this is more or less saying, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's got their own stuff. Everyone's got their stuff, you know, like under, tell me about understanding, understand that right now is not the time. If this is a meant to be scenario, cause some of you got a very, very strong bond. All right. The queen of swords right now, cut it out, cut it out of your life right now, but understand everything's happening for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like I knew I got the goosebumps with the knight of swords. This person's not even talking to you, but here's the deal. I understand that there's a... Uh, there's a court couple right there. So I understand this bond is huge, it's powerful, it's strong, but right now is not the time regardless. Okay, there's still some shady shit going on and I'm sorry. All right. Um, I love you guys so much. Okay. Mucho grande. Mucho. Um, much big. That didn't sound good, right? Um, what was that word I'm looking for? It's not grounded. It's not. It's not large. It's not big. It's not what I'm thinking of. Um, I wasn't gonna say much love. What was I gonna say? What's that? That that saying? What's that saying? Someone told me last night. It's like a, um. I heard it again. I haven't heard it in a very long time. And I was just about to say it, and I don't even know why some of you are going to relate to this. Um, and I don't know why I'm saying it. It's a Spanish saying. Um, did she say it over text, or did she say it? Hold up. I can't remember if she said it over text or she said it to me, but like, I want to say it to you because I know it's going to mean something to you right now. I don't know, but it's like, show it or let the maggots go for it, magnet go for it. Oh, I, I had never heard that saying. But like a prove it type thing, show it. Um, it's something like that. If somebody wants to comment, all right. It was just twenty seven, twenty seven too. But like, I can't find it. Show it or let the magnet go for it. I don't know. It's something like that. But I I know. It's so weird that I'm even using that right now. I'm saying it. it. That is really bizarre. Maybe the woman I was talking to was an Aries, and <laughs> I don't freaking know. But anywho, I don't know where my mouse is. My mouse went. I love you guys so, so, so much. Bye.